workshops are about is basically just empowering women all over the world when women of color who've gone through this all their lives all their lives is there is there a takeaway message you want to give women out there who are, who are struggling with this issue or have really have been under the sway of it but not really realized it perhaps the biggest thing that i tell them is that it's about confidence it really is there's a lot of insecurity that is attached to our hair and our skin color, and a lot of um, derogatory statements. Uh, when I was in cosmetology school, we never, they never said that word nappy. That word was never used. It was considered a derogatory term. So, you know, we want to just, when we talk about our hair, we're talking about ourselves. We're talking about all of us, and we want that to be positive. Well, Felicia, now, Nikishi, I think you heard what she was saying. What does she need to do to love her own hair and to own it? And do something with it that makes her happy. Accept it and know that it is her and that her beauty is not in her hair. It's in who she is. I went natural probably between 89 and 91 when natural, now it's a fad. People are going natural because it's, it, you know, everybody else is going natural. Well, I've learned a different kind of uh, experience as a natural, but my question is, would you let Felicia work with your natural hair? I wear my natural hair out a lot. It's just that I don't know how to maintain it. Of course I will. Okay, She's good. Mine. I want her to take you guys off. Look out a little bit and then come on back. And let's see what Felicia can do for you, okay? Right. We have to take a break. When we come back, we're going to start a hair debate. Yes, a whole group of debate. You don't want to miss that. 